Mac doesn't really have any support. Seems like there was more of a lean towards the B bomb site from complexity to open things up just to anticipate some type of B rush play. Uh, but we are seeing Immortals like really just kind of push down long with the bomb, but they actually have two sitting outside monsters, so it seems like they might throw some type of fake to B, get those two players to short into the stairwell, and then actually split the same bomb site. But so far, no one from Complexity is really uh, going to rotate. Now that Ape has gotten a kill on the Henny and spots the second player at long, this fake's getting kind of busted. Yeah, I don't know if they spotted the bomb though, but Lucas is still trying to bring the fight forward towards the A site. Gets picked off by Ape as well, who's being an anchor towards this A site. Nades coming through, they will still try to commit towards this A bomb site for the Immortals as they're leaking in outside the washrooms, no pun intended. One at short and one at long, so Ape still trying to stay alive. The rotation has already come across for complexity, with Uber getting another kill this time onto Zeus. Yeah, I mean, Immortals have been absolutely shut down. They cannot penetrate the save bomb site. The bomb's way down. Baltz doesn't really have a chance. He's got a one on four. Two players do have really low HP, and Baltz is still at a full 100. So maybe there's this real outside chance that he somehow makes something out of this round. But now Apes crossing into the bomb. Complexity are playing pretty disciplined. They're not over peaking. They're just kind of jiggling out just to keep an eye on Baltz, but no real over commitment. So they, they're definitely setting themselves up. They should win this round. Baltz shouldn't really have a chance. And so that'll be a big victory for Complexity to go ahead and get the 1-0 start here on the city side of overpass as bolts just keeps, keeps trying to find something but he's not hitting anything I'm and complexity is not getting too much to yeah i don't know <laughs> there's a lot of bullets flying there but the point is complexity never just like rushed them one by one or anything like that they set themselves up for victory and they do close it out yeah, tough one for Bolts as well. I mean, he said he was at 100 HP, but he didn't have any armor. Uh, he did purchase a smoke grenade and flash, so he was that utility player for the Immortals to try to execute towards that site. But when you saw it getting those first few kills, there was really nothing thrown yet. I guess Bolts wasn't really in position yet, or it was the aggressive peak that ate that gave the CTs the advantage. Yeah, I mean, 8 being able to get the two kills that he got right off the bat really disrupted everything because you could see Immortals were trying to do something initially over towards B first and then kind of transition those players back over to A for a split. But 8 really just kind of caused a huge disturbance in the midst of all that. So big rounds there for him, the new guy on the team, so to speak, as we are going to see some more with no bomb plant upgrading to tech nines and armor across their pretty much their entire lineup we do see complexity getting pretty aggressive here in stairs with depth to try to just get some information maybe do some early damage so far death has actually taken a lot of heat he's down to 51 already and really everyone else on immortals is still pretty much fully healthy so death having a little bit of tough time he might get trapped in here he's pretty isolated he does have surreal to kind of help bail him out but this could get dangerous well, he does get the first kill, but he's very low at 21 HP, so Felt falls, and they tried to go for that trade at the fountain with no avail. At the same time, they're both falling towards B. They're trying to push towards this Molly as well, as Surreal gets traded off by Lucas. Down now to the Twins, trying to get a few more kills here on the CT side. But you can see the positioning now for Complexity. Uh, they're looking very good. They dropped the bomb carrier. Lucas is by himself with this pistol force buy that they have for the Immortals. Nice one-shot Elise onto Ape. Candle here for Harambe. As now Def, Uber, and Android. Three versus one. But Look at you just the pandering to the memes of chat. You know how it works. Okay. You got it. You got to do it, I guess. As Lucas, only 20 seconds left here. He did hit a couple of nice little deagle shots, but he really doesn't have much else to find in the round. It should be the 2 0 here for Complex. It's just about doing damage at this point if you're Lucas, trying to see if you can't force them to spend a little bit more money down the line, but he's not going to be able to get any more work done. So Complexity up 2 to 0. So making sure that that 3-0 pattern holds for the most part as Immortals should really be even on less equipment value this round as they're saving up for that opening gun round. So Complexity should find themselves at a 3-0 pretty quickly unless they completely drop the ball in some way. Definitely at this point you just want to keep the economy. The goal right now is to get that bomb plan for the Immortals. They've tested the waters twice towards the A bomb site with no avail and uh, on this th third time they're still trying it once more, but Complexity pushing up very aggressively. One flash, the wheels are on top of party though. It quickly traded out at least. So that's a bit of economy damage for Complexity side. And on top of that, you drop an M4. So this could be a, a slight advantage for Immortals trying to take over this party to at least clear out two players for Complexity at the washroom area. Yeah, I mean, definitely at least forcing one rebuy out of Complexity, and if Bolts can put the Sim 4 to work and do more damage, that could mean a lot. Ooh. But it seems like Uber was on a big flank, actually. He pushed B pretty early, so he gets behind Immortals. Lucas, though, still making things happen. Gets a P250 frag, so a couple of kills on Complexity. Forces a little bit of a rebuy situation, but not, not too much damage. But now we'll see Immortals on their first full buy. Henny certainly has enough money to get an op in play immediately if he so chooses. 
and everyone else will be able to AK full gear up here with armor and all their utility. And I'm curious to see how Amorosa is going to approach this game because I feel like traditionally they're more known for just playing default and kind of methodical, but I feel like ever since Zeus joined the team, you've seen a lot more aggression out of them, uh, just like faster executes and just really trying to pick up the pace. So curious to see kind of what version of Immortals we'll see as it looks like they already have a really hard of course being, look, Zeus butchers do fire, not giving a care in the world, but I mean, he eats a lot of damage, Nate cleans him up. That was a huge paw flash as well. Wondering if that came from the CT side or not, because I saw the arc from the piece just behind. But Ooh. he just gets punished. And Jordan looks at the blue door and gets a kill there onto Phelps. That actually is his first kill of this game. Never really got that much action towards the B side, but as he does, he finally takes one down and puts it a two minute advantage for complexity, forcing now immortals to fall back, try to reset, and try to take advantage somewhere else. Yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, when you just get shut down to players like that right off the bat and you have to try to play a 3v5 the rest of the round, it's so difficult to come back from that. As long as Complexity plays it smart, they should always have a numbers advantage on you on a peaking scenario. And we did see Immortals try to open up more aggressive as we were talking about kind of the evolution of the team, but this Zeus got absolutely shut down. You see Complexity going for an aggressive short B setup. Worked out really well. Now you're seeing Immortals try to jump around a monster and try to make something out of nothing, but... They only trade one for two, so at least Hinny alone in a one versus four. He's got a lot of time, but the bomb is down, and he's just in a tough scenario with really low HP. Now he's pinned, but he gets the shuttle ease onto death, and uh, they at least know where he's at, but now it's just a waiting game pretty much for the CT side. I mean, they don't have to commit to anything. They smoke it out. He knows he's on the right, gets the no scope onto eight. Oh Listen my goodness. Gets the shuttle to Android as well. Now it's a one versus one. It's real. Flashes himself, that's to get a position inside water, and how do you win that? Surreal gets off down by Henny, and he clutches a four versus one against Complexity. Yeah, I'm waiting to assess that right after the Twitch clip ends so people don't hear what I'm about to say because, they're, yeah, I don't want to like take away from the hype of the play because that was huge from Henny. But Complexity should never really be losing that round. There's no need to peek the guy. Time is low. Bomb is down. If that dude hides behind barrels and forces Henny to press up, none of that ever happens. Um, so just Complexity giving Henny opportunities and Henny takes all of them. I mean, big plays from when we talk about how he's been hotly. That's a big round to win. And now look at the aggression from Immortals. They push in the washroom so fast. Complexity unable to fall back. And so it's easy pickings for Lucas. And that's going to mean that Immortals pretty much have this round in the bag unless they drop the ball as much as Complexity did in the previous round. And Android's trying to make that happen. He gets a one dig there. But he still has a lot of work to do. He's done it before, playing cash on B-side with the Deagle. Let's see if he can do it towards Optimus. He misses the shot, the Phelps connects two at least. He's very low. Trying to get this kill into the bomb planet with only nine HP was Zeus. Makes it out alive at least. Flash here, Android is still looking for the rotation, but it's going to be a flank coming in from eight and his teammate. And they both get spotted here by one watching the flank, and that was Bolts towards Party. And there you go, Android cannot do anything more, unfortunately. But Phelps and Zeus were so low, that could have turned things around there for uh, complexity on that retake, but great positioning for Immortals at the same time. And you saw them on this force buy for complexity at this point with pistols. Um, well, I guess it wasn't force buy then, because uh, they got their money reset pretty much from that loss on that four versus one from uh, Henny. Yeah, that's a, that's a big loss for Complexity. You've kind of given up all that ground that you gained early on when you're losing around like that. What was that? Uh, that was a 4v1 loss, so mm -hmm. that certainly hurts. And now Immortals actually were able to pick up a second op, and so I think they'll have a double op set up now, unless they decide to, to drop it for some reason. But, you know, kind of a rarity on Overpass 2 double op on Terra's side, but we will see if Immortals can put it to use. No, uh, it looks like no. Okay. They got rid of it. So submachine guns for three players for the Immortals, knowing how low complexity is in terms of money. So great call here for Zeus, uh, really managing the uh, the opponents here in terms of their playbook. But they're trying to play close for complexity, not working out. Surreal and Ape already falling down, and Immortals are stomping through towards the A site. Yeah, I mean, there's just really not much resistance complexity can pose at this point. They do have the 1M4 on Uber, but perhaps saving it is the best play here. We see Uber trying to go for some exit frag, but Zeus will chase him half with the clock and take him <laughs> down. Death, though, able to respond with the CZ and pick the M4 back up and get another frag. So perhaps he will be able to get away with it here. He has jumped all the way into the B-bomb site, and he's wrapping that M4 around over towards Monster. And so I don't think Immortals is really going to give too much chase. 
Uh, even though we do see Hitty actually pressing stairs with the op, so maybe somehow they come across each other, but seems like it's pretty safe for death. But it will be Immortals tying up the game three all. And so that lead that Complexity worked so hard to get to start off as half is already shrunk away. And there's one, one thing I haven't really uh, tested out yet since the uh, update because I didn't have a chance, but I was looking at the clips over on Reddit where mm -hmm. um, one of the one of the comments came through, uh, came through and it was underlined by Launders as well, is that whenever you're trying to do those silent fall into, uh, let's say, where it's supposed to be silent drops usually, it doesn't exist anymore because the game kind of thinks you're still on crouch mode until you land, so it's always going to make a sound. So I wonder when it came down to that four versus one versus Henny, uh, even though a flash was thrown from Surreal that, that blinded himself, when he landed into the water, did Henny hear it? And that's why he looked straight into the water. Um, that's something we'll probably have to check back towards the past VOD, but it'll be interesting to see how much it changes in terms of how sneaky you want to be uh, in a game of Counter-Strike today uh, until the next update comes through. But hey, at, look this at this point now, yeah, three, three. Lucas is just running through, and somehow nobody's covering. At least the trades comes across. Uber getting through the smoke, draws the bomb carrier on top of that. But he's running through, just on the other side. And he's waiting. It's down to a three versus three. They retake control of that bomb. Not sure if it was a good call there for Uber to run back through Monster. I mean, he knew that people were pressing short, and he had no rotate. So I feel like it was one of those desperate situations that called for desperate measures, which normally he probably wouldn't push that. But he, he had no fallback option, basically, I feel like. Unless he just hides inside the smoke and tries to wait it out. Um, but Immortals, again, just kind of brandishing this really new aggressive style. So far, both gun-on-gun -gun rounds we've seen has been the same opening from Immortals, where they just do two short, two monster, and just split the B-bomb site really rapidly. And this time around, Complexity really gets overwhelmed. And so, another big round here for Immortals that will put them in a 4-3 lead. And that's going to make things tough, because Overpass really is one of those maps where you should be getting most of your rounds on the CT side, at least the majority of the time in an ideal scenario, unless there's like a really big map bias in favor of one team over the other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, complexity are starting to bleed dry here. That's it. I mean, the real the real outcome and the reality of it is, is that they lost a round where they shouldn't have lost on that fourth one. Losing that four versus one, that economy has stayed low for complexity ever since. I mean, you saw the force pistol coming through. This buy was kind of weak as well. Now they're forced with only pistol again. It's very, very expensive to try to get that economy back up on the CT side. Um, so you're going to start seeing this struggle for, for their buys, I guess, for the rest of the half if it continues on this way of how immortals are just walking into sites. So A, a little bit strong for complexity but we've seen a lot of weakness towards b and the mortal seems to be exploiting that a little bit more yeah i kind of want to see if Immortals keeps up the pace i mean is it's cool to kind of see them in, in a new element where they're just so like i said this is so much more prone to just kind of run it down your throat early in the round rather than just kind of spreading out and taking some map control this round they do uh this is kind of their more default setup bolts over there towards monster lucas inside the stairwell the rest work in control of the a side of the map so this is a little bit more standard Ooh. and a little bit more traditional immortals type stuff here as uh, we do see Phelps taking some damage there and he actually won't be able to do much more though it's when he actually takes death out of the equation and bolts this is going to clear b solo that's a b stack by the way he's going to figure that out and the bomb's nowhere nearby so this is totally fine he finds the stack the bomb can just go to an empty a bomb site and lucas will just kind of hold the line over here in short yeah, they could afford that. I mean, Bolts is at 10k. They could also chase him down right away from the post position and just try to prevent Uber to save this AK-47. Lucas is already there. He's now stuck on the top of Heaven. He at least gets to kill onto Lucas, but he's not going to get anywhere close to these guns. Yeah, not really any opportunity for him to try to carry anything over into the next round. So Immortal's now going to be up 5-3. to three. But there is money back for complexity. But I feel like now, since they got their money reset after the opening gun round, they're in basically this, this buy save rotation until they can train together a couple of rounds in a row. So yep. uh, it's really dangerous waters right now for complexity. I mean, at this point, if Immortals keeps complexity's economy where it is, they could just roll out to just a huge lead in this half alone. So we really do need to see something out of complexity. Something big happens, surreal with that op maybe, needs to come up with a massive play. But Immortals, again, they're looking to pressure short B. It has been spotted by 8, who is jumping across to B site. So maybe this will help Complexity set up a little bit better. But Immortals do have control of this stairwell. So they can easily just transition either direction they want at this point. And that's what it is, right? I mean, you've you've seen how the aggressive plays from Complexity doesn't really work. They're trying to play more default, more passively as well. Lots of map control for the Immortals, but there's a, there's a 
positioning from Surreal, but he gets caught there by Zeus. Didn't expect him around the Ooh, corner. Look at he Death, also, though. Yeah, exactly. He had a good position from Death from where he was playing before, but he hasn't really pushed up. Now he's about to get met up by Bolts as well. And also a Henny oh. waiting there, so that's it. So the A site, it really has to come down to Ape to try to hold this. But I think that might be it. Five on three. And at this point, knowing that this buy is so low for complexity, they're going to have to fall back and try to save. That was one of those plays where Death was kind of like the snake in the grass, but he needed some type of distraction. Surreal needed to be able to get back into the A-bomb site and just draw pressure in uh, and keep their, their their focus on him. But he went down so early that now all of a sudden Immortals has the freedom to kind of check everything out, you know, be extra cautious, make sure they're not getting flanked. And that means that Death's play, while it looked like it could develop quite well, just wasn't going to work anymore. Mm -hmm. So now Immortals are going to be up 6-3. to three. Complexity trying to save these three rifles over here towards Graffiti. Ape has been caught already, but it looks like they will be able to carry over these other two M4s. Close here. Android getting tagged. 6 HP. Ooh. He stays alive. Close one. But just while you're explaining this here, Dust, uh, on the end of the round, I was listening a little bit to the in-game chat for complexity side and Def was saying like I need some calls so wh whether he had a great position in terms of that flank he was still playing towards the unknown so for mm -hmm. him walking out he was still pinched from short washrooms and also from party nothing really he could do there he needs a little bit more communication but it's a little bit harder when you're playing only two guys inside the a site and already mm -hmm. one of them has, a fall, uh, has fallen down early in the round yeah, and look at this. Immortals is pushing through Monster naked, not even throwing any nades to telegraph themselves. It's so unfortunate that Uber actually pushes out short B, so Android left alone to cover the site as Lucas will just hunt him down and he gets the entry frag. And they know that Uber plays the side, so I'm sure they're aware of where uh, Complexity is setting up. Death does get control of stairs, so this at least gives them a staging ground to try to retake B from, from multiple angles, but can they actually make the 4 on 4 happen? So far, they will be able to spot Lucas, who is trying to move up towards that balcony. But Zeus is still waiting for his water. Big flash coming through from both sides, but a team flash. At least the real still manages to get the kill. Three on two now. Henny and Bolts. Last two remaining for the Immortals. They do have a crossfire set up for its monster side. And Henny gets one. Bolts gets the other. Now it's the disadvantage for complexity side. Two versus one. Smolt coming back up. He's going to go for the fake defuse. I guess he didn't really have that time. Just wanted to get that kill. But Henny kills him through the smoke with a tech nine. And the Immortals are still running away with this game. Yeah, and I mean, Henny having a good game here. 10 kills and 10 rounds played. We talked about how big he's been for this team lately, particularly at Northern Arena. So having a good game. And really, the frag distribution across the entire team is actually pretty tight. It's only really maybe Feltz who's struggled just a little bit. Meanwhile, look at the complexity side. You've seen Uber have a couple of big rounds. Def actually played pretty well, uh, just to kind of point out a couple of players there. But we do have complexity once again, just on upgraded pistols. And armor, we do see a couple of nades, but not so much to work with. And again, we do see actually Immortals. They, they elect to really play these defaults on, on eco rounds. And they know Complexity might be stacking or pushing something. That's when they want to spread out and get information. And we are going to see that Phelps is able to do some trading here over towards the stairwell. Oh my god, Phelps, nice job being a turret 90-90-90 in terms of degrees of where he had to get those kills. And gets a triple right there. So a four on two, Uber and, and Android, the last two remaining, but at this point, um, Immortals should be looking good to be able to win this round unless a miracle happens here. You do have Android with that Deagle that mm -hmm. can be very deadly, but aside from that, uh, it's pretty much in the bag here for the Brazilians. And at this point, though, uh, Dust, when you're looking at these gun rounds, there's just so many weaknesses for complexities b holds i mean yeah. they ran towards short a few rounds ago with lucas and they just ran out towards monster that previous round and complexity are pretty much stuck playing solo every single time yeah i mean you can't fault complexity for not trying new things i feel that they have i mean i feel like they've tried to play beer standard before i feel that they've tried to push out short which is like sometimes a counter that can actually work and it actually worked the first time they played it right um whenever they they mollied Zeus down, they got a five on three. It's just they wound up losing a 4v1 clutch to Henny. But the point is, the the way they around eventually originally played out, they're actually doing just fine. Uh, but here lately, they haven't really been able to match up with the Mortal's firepower. I mean, hell, you just have Lucas run through Monster with no nades, just getting two entries. I mean, at some point, if you're complexity, you have to trade more efficiently or you're not going to win rounds. It doesn't matter how you position yourself. If you can't get the kills, you're still going to lose the game. And Immortals now up 8-3. to three. Complexity is really running out of time to make something of this half. Again, you need to have a good CT side on this map. It's going to be so hard to come back on your own T side. And look at Immortals up to the same old tricks. Smoke comes up to block that incendiary. And they're just going to storm this B-bomb site. That's what I'm saying. They're just running in. And they just 
sweep it up. Good jump from Lucas. Uber trying to stay alive, getting one kill, but he's about to get run over right after getting a nice angle here but big pop flash coming through cannot get the kill onto the opera at least gets one onto lucas but as he reloads gets crossfired taken down three versus one remaining a surreal is stuck on top of heaven they spot him zeus trying to make him fall back so that henny could pick him off with the awp and that's gonna put complexity in another round where they have to save or force the pistol Again, it's just Lucas. He's just tearing through the B-bomb side. That's, that's probably the sec. He's two for two right now in the last couple of rounds where they've hit B and he just gets the opening two entries like it's no problem. Like it's just with ease. Like there's just no resistance there for complexity. You can't let Lucas just come out basically by himself, a little bit of support from Henny, and just wipe your whole B-side defense. And I mean, we've been talking though about how Lucas has developed so much. He's in that entry fragger role. Been in that role for a long time, but now you're really starting to see more consistent production from him over the last few months. And Complexity definitely seem to have their hands still at the moment, trying to find much. Eight though, we'll push out sandbags this round. He's going to be able to get a kill. Death has an opportunity here to catch Lucas with this max set, and he can. So here's another five on three for Complexity. Can they actually turn it to a round one? It's going to be the big question, though, because last time around, they were unable to do so. And he's still alive, so let's not discount Immortals for now, especially with Phelps and their leader, Zeus, to be able to try to call things out. They're pretty much spread out across the map, though. Uh, but you can see Phelps is really the one that's trying to creep up first, trying to get that information. If you could actually clear out the A site or maybe sell a fake for these guys to take control of Blue Door, uh, that could be the main call. You can see them converging through. Def is still waiting towards that staircase. Phelps falling back from long to meet up with them. And there you go. Uh, the bomb carrier is actually, okay, he's moving up towards that fountain instead. And they're going to creep up for a short. I wonder if Def from his position will hear him moving up here. Yeah, definitely. He does check this to make sure he's not getting flanked, but he's certainly aware that washrooms is a problem. And he's actually going hunting for death, and death will be able to oblige him there with the headshot. So I'm down. 35 seconds left on the clock, down to two versus five. You kind of feel like complexity can't possibly lose this round. This has to be the one that they finally grab. You still have Phelps trying to get this bomb. There's 20 seconds left. He can't really walk anymore at this point. You really need Zeus to try to open up the A side at the same time. He does so with the first kill onto Surreal. He's going to smoke towards his like this. Phelps gets the kill. Okay, there's 10 seconds left. He's moving up towards his bank side, which is going to be Zeus. But he's about to get flanked by Uber very soon. So they're going to have to come in for that plan. Six seconds remaining. Oh, there you go. And Twitch is around at least for complexity. And they will finally put a point on the score. But that was actually a very, very expensive round for them to win because it was a 5 on 3 and they have the the threat of having their economy reset and if they do that pretty much forces them to have basically nothing to work with uh in the last round of the half so i mean that was very expensive it's also really concerning that it came that close right they had a five mm -hmm. on two and they almost lost the round very similar to what happened early in the opening gun round when Henny got the four on one clutch so if you're complexity you're definitely probably sweating that one a little bit because that came a little bit more difficult than it should have been and uh, we are going to see Immortals this round actually do a 1-4 split, just really pushing heavy up long A. Again, there's been nothing slow about Immortals' play on these gun-on-gun -gun rounds. They have been straight to the point, no hesitation, every cool. single opportunity, and here they come. Thank you, Def, for that jump peek. He's going to spot it out, look for some cover here, but Surreal actually manages to get one and two onto Phelps and Luca, so the entry fraggers are down. Zeus trying to capitalize back and retake control of this eight bomb site, so he does manage to take down Surreal, but Def is still winning here towards the APC. Ape at least met up with him towards the Optimus Prime. Penny is going to try to move in with the AWP from long. They're slowly creeping up right now as things have reset just for a bit. But as he tries to peer out a little bit more towards Optimus, Def goes for the white peak towards the APC and once again drops the bomb carrier. And this round's pretty much in the books now. It's all up the bolts in a one versus four. And complexity, a little bit more disciplined right now at their peak, and they're just holding angles. They're not overextending. They're not giving bolts a lot of 1v1 opportunities here, and Uber will actually win his fight. So it's going to be a fifth round for complexity, and they'll have plenty to work with in the final round of the half. So that's good mm -hmm. news for them. And uh, just really well played by complexity, actually. I feel like they absorbed the pressure well. Once they spotted those heavy numbers over towards Long A, you could just see Surreal kind of tuck into bathrooms and just kind of create a crossfire on the site with this player who was playing towards APC and Bank. So really well done by Cole. Great crossfire, great trading. And so at least they're making a little bit of noise here towards the end of the half. But it all comes down to this final round. It's all for naught if Immortals winds up getting a 10th round out of this, you got to feel. Great job for Complexity to stop the bleeding. Uber trying to look down towards Monster. The rest of Immortals trying to take control of this fountain, slowly creeping up towards Party. But again, one more round where Complexity are playing this very passively. 
but focusing a lot of defense on this B side. So real even opting from uh, the default uh, bomb boxes. His teammate just right behind him towards the APC. Uh, they're trying to double up on both angles. But Immortal, sorry, starting to move up slowly on this split. Can they hold it this time? Will they check Phelps? It's going to be the big question. That's how they were able to get tipped off in the last they round. An early peak, but the Phelps catches a sick timing. Just clears out the save bomb side alone. There's only eight left. He's trying to train. Felt the so much damage to him, though, in the process. And so Immortals, they have a four versus two. They don't quite have the sight yet. Yeah. That's going to be it. It's going to be 10-5, and I think that's that's a big mistake. I mean, you, you look at that round, pretty much the same execution for complexity, uh, in terms of uh, working, uh, sorry, in terms of watching the A site. But this time, Def wasn't the one that was trying to peek above the APC to try to look back towards long. He crossed over towards the APC to set up across towards kill, but Surreal was still looking towards Washroom, so nobody was looking towards long. And that gave a chance right there for Immortals to just overtake the mm -hmm. bomb site quite easily. And that's a small miscommunication that ended up being so deadly for uh, for Complexity. Yeah, the fact that Phelps just goes unchecked there and is able to swing through and get two kills without anyone having any information is definitely bad news. You got to be able to jump spot long or something like that, or, or have Surreal peek it with the, op, the pop flash or something like that. Just get the information. Didn't have it. So now Immortals are up 10 to 5. And short of complexity winning a pistol here, they're very out of this game. I mean, they, they got to find some success early in this half if they want to have a fighting chance to bring this one back to their side. As so we are going to see them open up aggressive towards short B themselves. Zeus was boosted initially. That's a little bit of damage there to Android, but not that much just yet. So we still need to see what complexity wants to transition to from here. They're also trying to jump and spot here with Lucas. So he sees two there and Def at least gets the first kill towards the B site. So the leader is down for the Immortals. But Lucas is still holding this angle and waiting for Def to peek out. But there you go. He's going to drop back towards the bottom. But this is going to keep things very slow now for Complexity. Despite them getting into, despite them getting this first kill, they still mm -hmm. cannot capitalize on any entries. Yeah, it looks like you want to see Immortals go for a play here. They know that they're low on numbers, so Lucas wants to try to just make something happen. He does get one kill, but Complexity trades it. They're getting control of the bomb site here. Bolts and Phelps are left in the area, but the bomb will get planted underneath their nose. Bolts moving up towards the water. His teammates towards Graffiti, but they have great angles and positioning for Complexity now towards this B bomb site. Any though close range, but then double peak coming through, so that's a good teamwork there for Complexity. Phelps now, LMS on the three versus one. He does have a kit, no armor, does have a smoke to work with as well, so he's going to have to try to act that quick, but he's going to opt to save his investment mm. for that kit and smoke instead. Yeah, that's definitely worth carrying over to the next round, especially if you can get some armor and upgraded pistol, you can still make some type of play out of it and have that kit on standby for retakes, so definitely might as well give yourself a, sh a little bit of a better chance in the next round, but for now, Complexity will put one on the board, so that makes it 6-10, to 10, so they are sticking in this game. It's worth noting that they've gotten double the amount of rounds in this map than they did an entire series against Immortals just last week, so that's progress, if they can keep it up. That's right. This is the second half. Still the first map, though, between Complexity and Immortals, brought to you by iBuyPower. Custom gaming PCs and laptops at affordable prices. Look at you, man. You're just a regular machine. I'm trying to be the NA machine. We both, both of our names are Alex, indeed. But now Phelps is, um, well, we do have this force buy from the Immortals, a scout in the hands of Henny, no armor, so pretty much a glass cannon scouter. And then we're going to have them playing semi-aggressively towards that short, so Phelps is trying to see if anybody was going to push towards that party or the fountain side, but decides to fall back as he waited long enough. Complexity on their ends, though, are still holding out here towards the fountain. Death is actually down to 30 HP already. So things are looking pretty decent for the Immortals, keeping Complexity on their toes and pretty hesitant yeah. on where they want to work things so far. Yeah, they're just kind of getting like pot shot damage off at this point, right? They're not really committing anything. They're just, you know, stepping out, grabbing a couple of bullets, and then falling back into better positions. And Def and Surreal certainly felt the pain from all of that. And that, that makes things a, a lot more tricky for Complexity, I feel like, at this point. You have two players who are severely wounded. Now you have to be a bit more cautious about how you spin these players. We do see Phelps looking aggressive with the CZ. You have to smoke at middle, but definitely not committing. He was just trying to see if he couldn't edge around, maybe catch an eye on someone. He does still have assistance there from Henny inside the A site, and he'll even begin to kind of draw back. He's just trying to see if he can't find a gap somewhere to get a kill out of this. 
Fels now at short, and they are going oh on fire. Two kills with the CZ. He picks up the AK, gets a third kill. Def is the last man standing, and he was the first one that was damaged down to 30 HP. Now in a five versus one. Phelps looking for a 4K. At least spots his opponent. But oh my, oh my, has Immortals done such a good job on this two-man hold of Phelps and Henny at the A site. You got to give a lot of props to Phelps. He's just playing up close in the washroom. No one can trade that man out. That's just kind of unforgivable. And he picks up an AK and finds even a third kill in that. So not only do Immortals get the round, but they got three free guns. Certainly helps out their money going forward. Meanwhile, Complexity stuck on just force buying some upgraded pistols. And even in the next round, they're probably not going to have too much to work with. So Immortals likely going to be able to jump up to a six, I mean, 13 to 6 lead before Cole can really even you know, dip deep into a round and actually get like a full buy going. So this is certainly not good news if you're a Complexity fan. 11 to 6, Zeus trying to do a surprise play, but Def is just waiting on the edge of that smoke. So one minute vantage for Complexity, but it is still very low in terms of artillery as they only have the MAC-10 in armor. Thankfully, it's in the hands of Def. But the rest of them have no armor whatsoever. Bolt's about to go for this boost to pick up spots, Def, and there you go. The armor is down, the MAC-10 is down, and the rest are spread out. Where Complexity at this point will pretty much get bodied by the Immortals. Yeah, and Lucas is hearing them transition over towards the stairwell here inside short B. And it felt like he's going to be able to catch the blow back there, actually taking down Ape. Though Surreal does get the trade from Party, and he might be able to pick up this AK. So this will give Complexity a 3 on 3, where they actually do have a, an AK to work with. And a Maxon also picked up by Android, but they don't have any armor. They only have one smoke on Android, so it's going to make it very difficult for them to be able to work much. It looks like they are trying to transition to long A, but Henny, he's here with the scout. He's ready for this. Catches the flick shot on the Uber. Also forcing the incendiary grenade towards the washrooms, knowing that Surreal picked up that AK earlier on, and that's exactly where Complexity, the last two players, are heading towards to from short. So they have that MAC-10 picked up once again from short, uh, short B at least, and Surreal with the AK towards washroom. Henny's still trying to spot it up right now, and see Surreal, does not connect, but the crossfire comes through with bolts, and then he connects at least that one onto Android. And indeed, that sound of the scout sounds pretty cool. That's actually probably my favorite sound update so far. It's like far. a bolt rifle from Call of Duty 1. Yeah, like I said, I think it's probably my favorite updated sound that they've done on any of the guns so far in CSGO. Can you can you just imagine how triggered people are going to get whenever they update the AK and M4? Because you got to feel that's around the corner, right? I... And those are the two most used guns in the game, so you feel like those are going to be the ones that people will potentially be most upset about. I don't... I never care about the sound... Uh, the gun sound changes. I think they're cool, and if they I think the biggest them, issue people cool. have is they start to sound a little bit more similar, and it's harder for you to pick them out on what's mm. being shot. I think over time, people will get, yeah. get an ear for it, as this well, sounds pretty much alike. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of dead air time, because uh, it is a P250 arm... Uh, no armor buy across the board for complexity, where they get shut down towards the fountain, cannot even make it past the steps, or even make a party at that specific area only one kill in the end but it's henny getting on top with a 3k and the awp 13 to 6 in favor of the immortals mind you this is their map complexity started off very strong and very well by winning that pistol and winning the next two rounds but on the first gun round there that's where it pretty much fell into shambles yeah. uh, and you will now see complexity back on a buy but still low in this situation. Yeah, and you got to feel this is pretty much their last chance to get something done, right? Because if you lose this, Immortals goes to 14, and then you're really hard-pressed to get a good buy when Immortals mm -hmm. goes for map points. So this is, like, probably the best purchase they're going to get for the rest of the half unless they can start stringing some rounds together in a row. So this one needs to count. So you are seeing complexity open up pretty slow. Android working outside the B-bomb site. We do have Uber working the stairwell. And then everyone else is just kind of spread out here towards the parks, just looking to see if they aren't going to be able to find a pick on any aggression from Immortals. But Immortals, to their credit, play this one a lot more far back. I mean, they have Henny just kind of spotting long from pretty deep. And we see that uh, even Phelps isn't really getting too, too trigger happy here. He's just kind of sitting back in the washrooms, waiting things out. You'll see probably the first contact, but does not connect onto Def, at least now. Def will be forced to fall back maybe towards that boulder. No, he's actually staying there looking for back up a surreal to try to bring that op shot. It is actually going to be Henny himself that's going to fall back and support his teammate inside the washroom area. So they're pretty much leaving open uh, the long area for the A bomb site. Mm -hmm. 
which is quite interesting. What are your thoughts on this here, Dust? Well, it's because Zeus is coming around. So they know that they have the freedom to kind of just put double pressure on middle while Zeus is able to catch their fallback. And now you can see Henny gets back into position and Zeus begins to backpedal. Um, so that's just teamwork right there, just being able to communicate what's open and, and how can we make a play while keeping our, our back safe. Something missing here for Complexity on their CT side and fell so close to that smoke. Here's him falling back and now executing towards A. Gets the first kill in the second one. They never spot him and finally Uber just sprays through the smoke to trade it back. Now Henny at the bomb site at the A area. There's only 13 seconds left on the clock. They have to at least move in and try to get a plant. At least get this kill onto Zeus, but they can't. And that's it. They drop the bomb carrier courtesy of Henny of the Immortals. Now in a three versus one and a three versus zero. Yeah, that's going to be it here, and again, complexity without the bomb plant, money so low. Yes, they're at max bonus, but they pretty much bought down to their bottom dollar in the previous round. Mm -hmm. Actually, not even complete no, it's loss. No, twenty nine hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So they only had like just above three k of most of their players. So they actually are basically forced in a situation to either play for the OT or just force up like a really low buy in the next round is going to be more or less the same thing. You'll see so, a gamble probably like two rushes with the, the yeah. pistols if they don't win this one. All you can really hope for is they will just go ahead and rush monster here and now, but they're eating a... Oh, never mind. Good smoke comes out. So they lost complexity to come out and spread. They actually do get the entry on the bolt, so maybe they have a shot here. That's right. They mollied it out. They get a take oh. nine kill. That kills himself. One G. And then Android then take nine onto Lucas. Four versus three, but Phelps is already on top of short. He does get the kill onto Ape through the, I guess, construction boxes to drop the bomb carrier. Now it's a three versus one. They just turned it around. Wow. What a rotation. That was so quick. Actually, the most important kill there is Phelps's, right? I mean, that, that kills himself. everything because everyone goes in the panic mode once the bomb isn't able to go down, and that allows the mortals a lot of freedom while Complexity's trying to get the bomb back to start moving in the position to, to retake. I mean, that's what allowed Zeus to slip through Monster and, and get one on the backside on the site, for example. So, really big impact kill there from Phelps. He's actually at 21 and 12. He was one of the more quiet players at the beginning of the game. He's really mm -hmm. kind of woken up and coming alive next to, to Henny, who's had a fantastic game. And I mean, this is the potentially the last round of the the map here, unless complexity comes up huge. They don't have any utility to work with; it's the big problem. So they have to win aim duels, and they've been severely lacking in being able to do that throughout this game. But Def, he does get one on there on the Lucas, so that helps things along. Yeah, a body peek into his favor at short B. Yeah, at this point, I would think they would want to converge with the amount of utility that they have to just explode towards the site. But they'll just keep it slow for now, 116 on the clock, but this gives a chance for Immortals to just readjust their defense. So you see him mm -hmm. turning up two towards the A site, two towards the B site, focusing a lot towards the monster here for uh, Zeus and for Bolts. They do get the pick onto Zeus as well, so Def really helping things along here. That's two kills for him in this round, but Bolt, he's gone unchecked here at Monster. He's going to get the bomb down. He knows there's more. He's just trying to hold on, not able to do much more than that one frag. And so this is a four on two complex. You should have this one. They at least get a bomb plant. It's been a while since we've seen a bomb plant here in this half. This is only the second bomb plant for complexity. As Phelps is moving up now with his team. Henny moving up from the fountain side. Phelps flashes himself in and another time where they get backstabbed. Okay. Phelps and Henny now moving up towards this B bomb site and Def even laughs. He's like, okay, I, I just got I just got shot in the back and nobody is there to call it out. And uh, trying to go for a 3k to keep things alive here for the team. So far, so good. Henny gets an off shot onto Surreal, and that's going to end it finally. So Complexity stays alive, but uh, again, another round where they shouldn't have lost those two players. Yeah, I mean, the way that Complexity's played these late round situations has definitely been something they're going to have to go back and look at, I would think, after this game is over. Even if they win, just to kind of fix that up, because I feel they've a lot of these rounds that... They seem to have a firm grasp of, start slipping through their fingers. Luckily, they, they hold on just enough to take that one, but they still have to march eight rounds in a row to get this into overtime. You feel like that's asking a, a bit much, given how they've struggled Ooh, throughout yeah. this game, and that'll certainly be one of the final nails in the coffin. You feel like Henny gets a free pick and is able to fall back, and Phelps has control of the stairwell. Now Bolt is even fired off on death at Monster, and he takes out Android. Okay, what's going on? They're just getting picked apart across the map. And somebody who's been quiet in this uh, whole game was Bolts because he wasn't really given the advantage to actually get those fights face to face. And when he does, he actually wins it. 2K for him, 4 on 2 right now. Uber and Surreal with the map in their hands to try to stay alive here for complexity. If not, Immortals will put one under their belt in this series. 
Kenny, close range onto Surreal. Uber, good luck, have fun. Four versus one. Bomb at least on his back, and he does have needs to work with. But he's walking straight into Henny with the body peak. Oh, puts him down to 20, now 11 HP. And now he's just going to smoke it up and uh, fall back. And there you go. There He's about to get pinched from Blue Door as well. This is pretty much it. Uber has to act quick. And uh, knowing now he has to look towards his left side, but... It's, nope, he looks right instead. <laughs> 16 to 7 in favor of the Immortals to win this first wow. map against Complexity. Uh, so we will move on to Cash, uh, which is going to be Complexity's map. I mean, you pretty much had an Immortals who was firing on all cylinders, particularly guys like uh, Henny and Phelps really had a good game. Complexity looked like Uber and Def had a decent time of it, but Android, who's normally pretty consistent, didn't really have a good game. And obviously you saw guys who uh, had a tough time getting in this one. 